Hey people, it's Naya talking. Now, this is a black politician's video. Now, I did this because I didn't know what exactly what to make of him because he's a complex figure with many different people saying he was a good person, other people saying he was a bad force. So, I just thought he's just a politician and we were just dealing with him in that matter. Now, I decided to do this because after doing Barbarian, I did lots of watching videos about Detroit. And I came across Coleman Young, one of Detroit's first, I mean, the first and longest serving black uh, mayor and a hugely controversial figure. So this is from Black Past. <coughs> Excuse me. Coleman A. Young, 1918, 1997. Born in Tuscaloosa, Alabama on May 25th, 1918, Coleman Young arrived in Detroit, Michigan with his family when he was five. The Coleman settled in the working class neighborhood of Black Bottom brackets East Detroit, where his father operated a dry cleaning business and his mother was a school teacher. Early in his life, Coleman suffered various forms of racial discrimination, from denial of scholarships to a racially motivated firing at an automobile plant. During the Second World War, Coleman was one of the Tuskegee Airmen serving as a bombardier navigator, but he was discharged after demanding service at an all-white officers club in Indiana. After the war, he returned to Detroit, where he worked as a union organizer and campaigned for progressive party presidential candidate Henry Wallace in 1948. His activism with the leftist Progressive Party drew the hostility of mainstream labor leader like UAW President Walter Rufer. Young lost his union position and later gave defiant testimony to the House Un-American Activities Committee. Blacklisted by the labor establishment, he went through intense personal difficulties and was married and divorced twice. During the 1960s, Coleman began a climb up the ranks of the local Democratic Party and in 1973, when he was elected mayor of Detroit, he became the first African-American to head a major U.S. city. Coleman's effort to reform, no, efforts to reform the police department angered white conservatives, while his refusal to support court-ordered busing angered mainstream liber liberals. Well, to be honest, what's that thing they say? If you're not pissing off people on both sides, what do you call it? You're doing something right? because that way you're not pandering to either side. I'll deal with that in a sec. His 20-year tenure as mayor saw the construction of the Riverfront Renaissance Center and other products which covered great hundreds of jobs for African Americans. His blunt, sometimes profane style made him a target for the media with whom he often sparred. His companion for most of his life after his two divorces once said of him, the city is Coleman Young's girlfriend, not jo Joyce Garrett. Coleman Young died on November 29, 1997 at the age of 79. Now, I have to speak on some of these things. Coleman's effort to re reform the police department. Again, of course, any attempt to integrate the police department would anger people. In their view, a black, uh, uh, a black city having a police department that reflects it is, how do you say, wokeism, but it's just common sense. According to them, America sh uh, caters to white people and has all the jobs and the best things go to white people because it's majority white. But when a majority black city tries to do that, mm, it's racist. And this thing here, I'm caught, refusal to support court-ordered busing angered mainstream liberals. This is something I've spoken out again and again. Why are we sending black children to these white schools to be traumatized? You know, and I have to agree with him. This is just common sense and he is well ahead of his time. Now, there were some things I saw which on the Wikipedia page, now I can't verify if those were true, but one of them was said is that <laughs> his experience with the Catholic Church, he said, it, it, um, the brother asked me, are you a member, are you a Hawaiian? No, I'm colored. And he tore it up in front of me. That was the end of me and the Catholic Church. And he spoke of his job, of, I mean, his uh, mayorship, and he said, I got the job of being mayor because nobody else wanted it. And this is one of the things I want to say. People like to pin the blame on him because obviously as the first black mayor, just like Obama, they put a black man in when things started really crumbling, like the 2008 financial crash and with Detroit after this, uh, the deindustrialization and uh, the 67 riots. They want to say Coleman Young was a problem, but Coleman Young came into power at a time when Detroit was struck by forces way beyond his control. So some of the blame for things that went wrong may be his, but it's not fair to pin everything on him and talk about that he single-handedly destroyed Detroit. That is not true. So anyway, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.